I'm going to speak for about five seconds and then go on and shoot this one. Right? Fast food joint, healthy bites. I'm going to assume that you've already read the question. So if you've not read the question, go ahead, read it very clearly, try it, attempt it, or answer all four questions and then come back to this. Right? Healthy bites is a fast food joint serving three items, burgers, fries and ice cream. It has two employees, Anish and Bunny, A and B, who prepare the items. Preparation time is 10 minutes for a burger and two minutes for an order of ice cream. An employee can prepare only one of these items at a time. So ice cream and burger. Fries we have not spoken anything about. We'll, we'll probably, it'll probably come. The fries are prepared in an automatic fryer, which can prepare up to three portions of fries at a time and takes five minutes irrespective of the number of portions. So whether you prepare one portion, two portion or three portions, it takes five minutes. The fryer does not need an employee to constantly attend to it. It's an automatic fryer. And we can ignore the time taken by an employee to start and stop the fryer. So either of them can just take the portions of fries required, stick it in the machine and then pick it up after five minutes. They could be doing something else during these five minutes. They could be doing something else at the beginning, at the end. The five seconds that it takes to take this and stick it inside the automatic fryer is not considered. Right? So, an employee can be engaged in preparing other items while the frying is on. However, fries cannot be prepared in anticipation of future orders. Let's carry on. Healthy Bites wishes to serve the orders as early as possible. The individual items in any orders are served as and when ready. So if ice cream is ready, they'll give him ice cream. If fries are ready, then he'll give, they'll give him fries. However, the order is considered to be completely served only when all the items of that order are served. Obviously, so if a customer has ordered for three items, only when all three are delivered do we assume that the order has been served. The table below gives the orders of the three clients and the times at which they place their orders. Client one says a burger, three portions of fries. Remember, this is just one unit and one order of ice cream. At 10 five, we get two portions of fries and one order of ice cream. At 10 7, one burger, one portion of fries. This does not give us one complete sense of when what is done that we'll have to figure out. Let's go to the questions. Assume that only one client's order can be processed at any given point of time. So Anish or Bunny cannot start preparing a new order while previous one is being prepared. This is very useful, the critical condition. What this is telling us that we'll take up client one deliver completely then go to client two so while delivering client one even if one of the items is, is if everything is being done but one of the guys is free he cannot say okay i'm doing nothing let me start processing client two's order he cannot say that they finish client one deliver everything then say okay now let's start client two so they're practically doing one after the other we are doing no optimization that's very useful. We're optimizing to the extent of handling for one client. Right? Let's look at these two questions. And then for question numbers three and four, there's some other constraint. Right? So look at question number one. Only one client's order can be processed. At what time is the order placed by client one completely served? Client one wants a burger. So one of them can prepare the burger. And three fries and an ice cream. Remember, three fries can be prepared at the same time and automatically. So, Anish can prepare from 10 to 10.10. 10. Bunny can put all three fries at 10 o'clock and then can start making the ice cream at 10. So, at 10 to the ice cream is ready and given. At 10 pie, the fries are ready and can be given. At 10.10, 10, the burger is ready can be given. At what time is the order placed by client one completely served? 10.10. 10. Simple question. Remember, Anish and Bunny can work parallelly. Anish cannot make burger and ice cream at the same time. When Anish is making burger, Bunny can do ice cream and either one of them can handle the fries. Right. Go to the next question. At what time is the order placed by client 3 completely served? Right. We saw that client 1 is completely served by 10.10. 10. Remember, now client 2 can be served only starting at 10.10. 10. 
you could not have started any of the process before 10 10 remember that client one is completely served client two might have placed the order i don't care about that i'll wait for client one to be completely served then start client two's process and so client one at 10 10 he's completely done at client two has ordered two fries and one ice cream no anish can keep the two fries from 10 10 to 10 15 bunny can prepare the ice creams 10 10 to 10 12 at 10 12 the ice creams will get made at 10 15 the fries get made bunny is free from 10 12 anish is free from 10 10 because the fryers get made automatically but remember client three's process we can start only at 10 15 we have to deliver client two's order completely and only then can we start client three now, client three orders a burger and the fries burger takes 10 minutes fries take five minutes so at 10 25 client three's order can be completely served this is not the best or the most optimal process to do this anish and bunny at different points of time are free but that doesn't matter what we have been outlined is very clear you serve client one completely then start the process for client two so by 10 25 the whole thing can be delivered let's go to question three suppose the employees are allowed to process multiple orders at a time but the preference would be to finish orders of clients who place their orders earlier now this is interesting this is how a restaurant would operate the client one's order is delivered but if one of the guys is wasting time is not doing anything and client two has given an order that should be served that should be processed that's how we operate okay? at what time is the order placed by client two completely served client one places a burger three portions of fries and one order of ice cream so anish could make the burger till 10 10 it will go on bunny will keep the fries till 10 5 it could go on bunny can make the ice cream 10 2 remember bunny is technically free by 10 2 okay. the order second order comes in only at 10 5 remember that the second order is for two fries and one ice cream what bunny can do at 10 5 is place the two fries in the automatic fryer machine and start making the ice cream at 10 5 exactly this will get completed at 10 7 remember bunny is free from 10 2 onwards and the frying machine is free from 10 5 onwards the order comes in at 10 5 so 10 5 to 10 10 this gets done 10 5 to 10 7 this gets done anish meanwhile is still making the burger ordered by client 1 but that doesn't matter client 2 can be served completely by 10 10 10 10 here we are optimizing so client 1 and client 2 the stuff can be delivered by 10 10 Suppose the employees are allowed to process multiple orders at a time, but the preference would be to finish orders of clients who place their orders earlier. Same, same as the previous question. The condition is very clear. We are looking to optimize employees time. Also assume that the fourth client came in only at 10.35. Between 10 and 10.30, for how many minutes is exactly one of the employees idle? That's very interesting. So we need to think about what each of them is doing. And then we need to track when exactly one of them could be idle, not both. Right? So only one of them should be idle. But think about this. Say Anish delivers for the burger for client one. He's busy from 10 to 10, 10. The fries can be placed inside by either one of them, 10 to 10, 5, either by Anish or by Bunny. Remember the fries time is not taken as employee time. It's just processing time. Bunny makes an ice cream from 10 to 10, 2. And so the order gets completely delivered by 10 10 but bunny is occupied only till 10 2 the next order comes in at 10 5 so 10 2 to 10 5 bunny is free and so bunny is free for three minutes during this three minutes anish is occupied in making the burger so exactly one of them is free for that three minutes from 10 2 to 10 5 the next order comes in Anish is busy with the burger for client one. Bunny makes the ice cream and keeps the fryers in. This takes five minutes. This takes two minutes. So by 10, seven, 
Bunny is free. When Anish is still making the burger. So from 10 7 onwards, Bunny will now be free. Right? Having said that, client three's order of burger and fries comes in at 10 7. So Bunny will say, okay, 10 7, I'm free, but I've got an order for burger and fries. So he starts processing burger from 10 7 to 10 17. Now, the fries have to be processed from 10, 10 onwards because only then the third lot of fries can be placed, which probably Anish will do and Bunny can do, but Anish probably, that's, it doesn't matter either way. So 10, 10 to 10, 15, the fries get processed. 10, 7 to 10, 17, the burger gets made. In this 10, 7 to 10, 17, till 10, 10, Anish is occupied making the burger for client one. But from 10, 10 to 10, 17, Anish is free. From 10, 10 to 10, 17, the 7 minute period, Anish is free while Bunny is busy making a burger. So, 7 more minutes where one of them is free. At 10, 17, Bunny gets free. Client 3's order is delivered completely. 1 and 2 have already been delivered. Anish is also free. So, from 10, 17 to 10, 30, both of them are free. That I won't count. The question is very clear. It is exactly one of the employees is idle. That is 3 plus 7, 10 minutes. For a period of 10 minutes, exactly one of the employees is idle. 10, 2 to 10, 5, one of them is idle. 10, 10 to 10, 17, the other is idle. So for 10 minutes, exactly one of them is idle. Right. Wonderful question. Simple enough as long as you do it reasonably methodically.